This is Whiskey and Weapons, Malt of the Month. Ben Bracken, 22. Malt of the Month, more like Malt of the Year for honest. Oh yes, you'll find that it's won some uh, awards this year, the 2016 Whiskey Festivals. It's got Best in Class um, and Best Eily Whiskey of the Year. To be honest with you, I can't believe you've still got some left. I know, I've had this one for two years nearly. Two years? Yeah, I think it retailed around about the £45 mark at the time. Um, for what you get. I mean, Fantastic. We've got a whiskey in a case. Beautifully so, embossed. Yeah. It's got a lovely uh, little map on the inside as well, I believe, of Eilie. Look at that. Look at the colour. That's think, quite two years in a barrel, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's fair to say you can see the oak in that one. Let's get some in a glass and see what we're dealing with. Would you care to do the honours? Oh, you can smell it already. If that's not an autumn day's whiskey, I don't know what is. Look at the colour. Getting hints of peat, wood smoke. It's got that sort of bonfire smoke towards, hasn't it, you know? Oh, it's it's got like a used humidor kind of smell. You know, like a, a good cigar. Mmm. Yes, yeah. Oh, a little bit of uh, maple. Can you get, get some? Yeah, the maple's really strong in it, isn't it? Oh, if it tastes anything like it smells, we're going to be in for a treat. A good whiskey. So we say it's quite oily. Got good legs, nice colour there, good strong amber. Beautiful whiskey. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Let's get this drunker. That's what we've been waiting for, the smoothness of that whiskey. Oh, it's like silk, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. It goes down almost too easily. Too yeah. easily. Ooh, getting hints of toffee apple and cinnamon. Ah, if there was ever a whiskey that was worth 45 pound, this is the one. Oh, you can't be robbed, can you, for a 22 year old whiskey? I'm not surprised it won the uh, Whiskey Awards. If you see this whiskey, grab yourself five cases of it, honestly. It's worth it. If I can get another one, I would. It's got that classic Eilie salt right at the beginning, like a good sea breeze. It's, mm. it's very, very prominent. Like a seagull slapped you in the face. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but I get where you're coming from. It is absolutely astounding, like, isn't it? Absolutely excellent. What a, what a gorgeous whiskey. Yeah. Can't be beaten, I don't think. It's got, like, tastes of, you know, figs and... Mm. That's got that little... There's a bit of walnut in there. Fruity nose. Yeah. Are you getting honey as well? Yeah. A little bit yeah, of honey yeah. on the nose. I really like that. I think it's it's almost as good on the nose as it is to taste. You could literally sit with a glass of that, not drink it and enjoy it as much. I might be lying there. Small lie. <laughs> well, I would usually suggest trying a drop of uh, water in the whiskey. I just, I don't think this needs it. No, it, it certainly doesn't. Do it. I think it holds up for itself and I think you would probably be spoiling it, but the peat Each smoke's to not, it's not overpowering, is it? That's it's not, no, it doesn't have the overpowering peat smoke that you would get with like a Lagvullen or, you know, an Ardbeg. Mm, mm. Yeah. Very special. Look at the colour as well, like I say. When you look at that, you can tell there's got to be treacle notes in there. If you saw this on the shelf, not in the box, I'd buy it for the colour. Yeah, me too. And I, think, I think that I'd be more than prepared to pay the same price again. On top of it, you know, mm, it's mm. quite a pricey whiskey. I mean, forty-five quid. Yeah, I find it finishes with a bit of a almost a tobacco note, do you? Yeah, like a good cigar. Yeah, a little bit spicy. Yeah, but it's got that like overwhelming tone of like a leather workshop, hasn't it? You know, mm, that really yeah. like suedey leather smell, like licking a Chesterfield. <sighs> Not that we would advise doing that. No, definitely don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
but that's what this is. It just reminds me of autumn straight away. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting up towards the Christmas time. You've got all those Christmas spices in there. This is a real special whiskey, isn't it? It is, to be honest with you. It goes down like maple syrup. Yeah. So it's got lots of sweet notes. Silky smooth as well, isn't it? I, I, you know what, to be honest with you, I wondered if it was watered down. If I wondered if they put out, I don't know, a 30% whiskey. Because well, it goes it's it's not so well, smoothly. It? No, no. It's not at all. Not at all. Yeah, I see, I see where you're coming from with that. It doesn't have that real harshness that you would expect from a, a whiskey, you know. You know, like the Arberg 10 year old, you get that harshness. Get, you get a real burn to it, yeah, don't you? Right. Like a whiskey burn. The other thing what seems to be missing from this, uh, which you, you get with most Eilly malts, is a real good TCP kick, and I'm just not finding that there. Don't get me wrong, I like that, um, but it's different, and I'm really enjoying it. It's like the best in both worlds, isn't it? That is definitely, I would say, that is the best malt that I've had in the last 12 months, without a doubt. I've had quite a few as well, um, but that is just a great all-rounder. It's a real easy drinker. Yeah, £45, you can't be robbed. You'd be expecting to pay £75, £80 for that. And, and looking at the colour, I think you wouldn't walk past it on a shelf if it wasn't in a case, would you? No, to be honest, if I saw this on the shelf again, I'd probably buy two of them. Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Bracken, 22. Little. It's actually Lidl, but we'll let them offer. I think if there's one thing to take away from this, it's to lock up your whiskies and lock up your Chesterfields, because with this lad on the loose, it ain't safe. <laughs> That's the one that you can ponder over for a while, isn't it? I could talk about this all day if I'm honest. But let's not. Let's get it signed off. Let the guys get to the shops and get one for themselves. They can try. They I can, can try. They'll be racing <laughs> us to it.